Hello, fellow Americans. I'm here to announce my candidacy for the presidential election of 2020, since everyone else is dropping like flies. Quitters. I don't see what the problem is. Just don't quit. And, well, someone's got to do it, so here I am. You're welcome. There's a lot of craziness in the world these days, and I want to make big changes for the better. If elected, I will make America into the superpower that it used to be a thousand years ago. I will fill crop dusters with Lysol spray and wipe out coronavirus in one fell swoop. Easy. Why, why don't we do that at the, the beginning? I will make TikTok completely illegal. You're welcome. I will print more money and give it to poor people. I'm a selfless guy, obviously, but... I don't understand why they didn't just go buy more money. Like you're making more work for me. Have a little respect. I will add a 25th hour to the day strictly to make up for the hour that you spend laying in bed at night, looking at memes, and wrecking your sleep schedule for the rest of the week. I will make it legal again to be a minority or a woman. I thought we figured this stuff out like 100 years ago. Come on. I can bench press 225 pounds. I will tell North Korea to square up or shut up. You don't want this smoke. America. I have both a deathcore album and a hip hop mixtape, so I have widespread appeal. You should check them out. <laughs> Link in the description. <coughs> Link in the description. Link in the description. Check it out. I will require every soda machine to have the little cubes of crunchy ice rather than the giant jagged pieces of glass that they normally have and other critical international issues i mean it, it's not that hard you just just fix it you're, you're the most powerful person in the universe like you got a lot of stuff at your disposal here just just take care of deal with your stuff it really doesn't seem that hard so let's, let's get me in there and get started now I'd like to open up the floor to some of your stupid questions. Yeah, you can... <laughs> yes, how will you help the economy rebound from the pandemic? I will create a whole bunch of new job factories to create more jobs. And actually I'll be creating jobs by creating jobs, so it's twice as many jobs. Easy. What would you say to your detractors? What do you think I have nukes for? Iran? Yeah. And I ran, I ran so far away. What do you make of the political tensions with China? Well, China has like a billion people, but America has a trillion. So I don't really see how they can afford to beef with me. And every American is worth like 10 of anyone else. So that equals like a billion, so that one shouldn't be too hard. I'm being told that a president has never had a full beard before, so I'm gonna take a quick water break. I'll be right back. And we're back. I, uh, this is as far as I got. Forgot to charge my electric razor last night. I'm just going to let it ride. Where were we? Questions. Uh, go ahead. Which former presidents would you compare yourself to? Uh, definitely Ben Franklin and uh, probably Michael Jordan. Uh, the Founding Fathers are a huge influence on me. Their greatness is what makes me want to be as great as I am because it's like twice as great. You know, history and heritage. What are we talking about? In the back? Where would you place yourself on the political spectrum? Well, my mom always said that I am right in the middle of the spectrum. Um, so I would have to agree with her. She said I was very special. So you guys are lucky that I'm even here. I could be an astronaut or a doctor or a deadbeat kid talking into his phone camera making videos in his room and not even making any money off of it. So, uh, what was the question? 
Right, right. I was just seeing if you knew. They say you can't please everyone unless you just do what everyone wants you to. So I'm going to do that. You just stay in the middle and, and please everyone. Now, why didn't anyone else think of that? You ever notice it's the extremist types that piss everybody off? You know, I'd rather have 300 million casual fans than everyone hate me except for 11 dad bods and confederate flag speedos that were willing to run through barbed wire with my name painted on their stomachs. Like, who are you helping? Tacky, bro. Like, come on. Well, that just about sums up my platform. Um, I seem like a bit of a shoe in to be honest. Uh, sorry, it might be a little anticlimactic. I'm more of a slam dunk than when I broke my friend's kid's Fisher Price hoop and made them cry. I just damned it. Work on your post defense, bro. I'll see you in 2024. Peace.